up guys, it's Commander Wolf. A lot of you guys were asking me to do a review on my Clone Trooper Phase 2 Revenge of the Sith Waxer helmet uh, that I made a few years ago, and I'm super excited to do that. But before we get into that, I wanted to um, talk about some things I'm really excited for. So next week is the launch of The Last Jedi. Now The Last Jedi I'm gonna be seeing on December 14th, and uh, my older brother and I were thinking of doing a review on that after the, sh after the TV, uh, no, not TV show, after the movie ends. So that's super exciting. I just want to show you guys my setup here. So this is where I will be doing the Battlefront vids. Uh, Mike, this is where I do my editing. And I just picked up an Elgato game capture card. So then that way we can do higher quality content videos when the Last Jedi Battlefront 2 DLC drops. So I'm super excited for that. And other news, um, my brother and I are seeing if we can get a um, get the $700 Ultimate Collector's Edition Millennium Falcon Lego set. Now that Lego set is the largest Lego set Star Wars and Lego have ever produced. And if we could build that for you guys and like just show you everything, that'd be super cool. I think that was in the Spider-Man Homecoming movie as well. So that's really cool. In other news, um, I'm also working on a new logo so we can start launching merch. We're really scared that Disney will sue us. So my parents um, and I are working on a new logo, which we're kind of merging the, the phase one T-Visor kind of with the wolf kind of logo. So as you can see here, these are some of the designs. Um, and uh, sorry, I don't know if that looks. Yeah, so this is kind of like the one we're settling on right now. Um, which looks really cool to me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super hyped. So once we get that done, we can start launching merch. And I hope you guys are excited. Here's my dog here. His name is Star. I think it's really, really fitting that a Star Wars fan is a dog named Star. But anyways, let's get started and let's get into the review. Let's get this helmet and let's check it out. Okay, so ooh, it's actually heavier than I remembered. So a lot of the buckets that the 501st um, I guess I can do it right here, but the 501st uh, Legion, the costuming group that does clone troopers, storm troopers, all troopers, um, and they dress up, they, um, what should we call it, they tend to have, I think, lighter buckets. I know this one I bought is a cast mold. You guys can watch my old videos of how I made this, um, but basically I bought it as a cast mold. The eye holes were not cut out, the mouth holes were not cut out. Uh, a lot of things were not cut out, um, especially there was like a lot of weird stuff in here that was kind of like gooey, hardened stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of rough actually on the edges. But other than that, it was like a base thing and I'm like, oh, we got to start from scratch. So I got a Dremel kit and I cut it all out and everything. Yeah, I don't need to go through that. A lot of people were asking me actually, why do you have these tally marks? They look like, um, they look really bad. They're not like, supposed to be red. Um, and I, I think on Umbara, when Waxer died, they were red. I couldn't quite tell. But I think I was kind of lazy at this point because I had been working on it for months. And I feel bad about this. I guess I could redo this and paint it red. Because I did this in Sharpie and I think everyone can tell. It looks kind of like childish. And it's, but then again, I was a child when I made this. Um, so it was kind of hard to do. I don't know if I'm going to do another one because these things cost really, uh, these cost a lot of money to do a project like this but it was super fun to make. Um, the I'll tell you where I got everything. The paint I got from Michaels, super, so this is the paint actually that they use when they're painting like the road outside, when they're painting roads, um, the orange uh, marking, t marking paint. And then I got, the, uh, I got the black paint from Michaels as well. Um, and then the gray paint, the white paint, same thing. Um, these I bought off of some website. I can't even remember now. It was some 501st associated website where you basically put down these uh, these marking tapes and it looks kind of like the breathing, uh, I don't know what they're called, ventilators or something? Yeah, that's cool. Um, this piece actually what came in the cast and these pieces too, so they were actually white when I first got them and they were already onto the helmet. Most people when they buy base model helmets, they don't have these here. So you're supposed to buy them separate and then attach them on with like glue and super glue, which is super cool, I guess. Um, I'm okay with that. It's kind of rough around the edges. I don't know if you guys can tell. The um, the visor actually doesn't really click onto the wall because these walls were really bumpy and I had to dremel it out. But I couldn't, it's like really thick, so I didn't really get through the whole way. But I basically just glued the visor inside. Um, here, I'll put it on for you guys um, so you guys can see what it looks like.
Hello, hello. As you can see, the helmet uh, really goes down to my neck. I need to add some more bracing in the top if I want it to fit my head. And I think I have a pretty big head compared to you guys. So as you can see, the T-visor in there actually doesn't um, connect. Like, I mean, it goes a lot further out than the visor actually looks on the front, which is on purpose so that it covers everything. Um, I have some bracing in here so your face doesn't hit the cheek pads because those hurt because these things are um, these things are rock solid. I've actually not worn this in a long time because my head gets, I feel really stuffy when I'm wearing this thing. So that's really cool. These Numa stickers I actually got from someone I met on some 501st website, I think. He had three of them. He sent me all three and I was really grateful because I didn't pay a, a penny, but he's like, I had them. Because I was like, where, where am I going to get these Numa stickers? My first thought was, I'll print them out and then I'll like double side tape them to the helmet. Or I was like, or maybe I should paint it myself onto the helmet. Um, that would have looked cool too, but I'm not that good with small paints, acrylic paints. So I wasn't really excited to do that. Um, let's see. The back of the helmet's kind of rough too. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's like some sloppy, uh, sloppy paint work, sloppy joke. Um, but then again, now I'm older, I probably could do a better job if I did a new helmet. Uh, what helmet would I want to do? I really like, um, I really like Arc Trooper Blitz. I think his, his helmet looks really cool. Um, who else? I don't, I don't know about Cody. Ooh, I like, I like, um, I like the red, kind of like clone, um, captain kind of look. Kind of like Captain Fordo. Yeah, I really like that kind of look. But who else? I don't know. Let me know, let me know if you like any of these guys'. Uh, I know people like Gree, people like the 501st, people like Rex. I actually don't have Rex's, um, I don't have Rex's character. I wouldn't do Wolf's actually, as much to my surprise. I also did this helmet actually. Um, I painted this onto the Stormtrooper base paint kit. So that was kind of fun to do. Yeah, um, ooh, maybe Dental. Maybe Dental. Um, let me find Dental. Yeah, I like Dental's, Dental's helmet. It's kind of cool, he looks like teardrops. I was gonna make a whole armor set for this thing, but that costs like upwards of like a thousand and something dollars. And I just was not down because I'm like, I'm young, I'm gonna grow out of it, you know. Not not grow out of like not wanting to do Star Wars anymore. That probably won't happen. I just meant like I'm physically gonna grow out of the armor. So uh, I haven't yet decided on getting it, but I think it'd be cool. Yeah, so this helmet actually is pretty comfortable to wear. I think there's a little bit of wiggle room. Maybe I could stuff it a little better. Um, I don't know, other than that, if any of you guys actually do costuming or do um, helmet type stuff, just let me know like what you guys have done with your helmets or, or even you guys who don't have helmets, like what helmet would you make if you could only make one? I chose this one because I thought not many people have done this one and there's a cute Numa sticker on it, everyone loves Waxer. You got the orange and the blue and the white and the black and the blue and the white and the, you know, it's just, it's a cool dynamic. He's got tally marks, just like Rex has tally marks. So I was like, yeah, I'll do Waxer. You know, he had a sad death and it was a really cool character. So definitely, I think that was a, that was why I cho chose to do Waxer rather than do Wolf. But I did do Wolf for the, the Stormtrooper thing. So that was kind of cool. Alright guys, well, uh, I think this is going to end the video here. If you guys liked it or you guys want to see more, give me some recommendations. You know, I'm making content for you guys. I want to know what you guys want. I'm doing a lot of montage stuff recently because I know um, a lot of people view that type of stuff. But I also don't know if you guys want to see more gameplay vids because not a lot of views on that. Um, or if you guys want to see, uh, if you guys want to see, I don't know, reviews of my other characters. I did the... Um, I did the Django Fett character there. Uh, I could do something else. Oh, that poster behind is actually really cool. Let me actually show it to you. This poster here is, um, it's kind of like the old Star Wars poster with like Luke and Leia. It's one of the oldest uh, versions. I don't know if this is real or not, but it's a, uh, it's really nice. All right, guys, this is Commander Wolf signing off. And as always, woof, woof. Take a bar green. What the hell is an aluminum falcon? <laughs>